Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another Transformers review. And as you can see, I'm following on with yet another of the throttle bots. And this particular one is called Wide Load, and he's obviously an Autobot, as all the throttle bots were. Uh, as you can see, he's styled on a tipper truck uh, construction vehicle. Uh, I'll give you a look at his backing card first. Uh, as you can see again, he was one that came with a decoy, so he's got the double sort of bubble uh, on the front of his uh, backing card. Um, as I said before on the Goldberg review, I haven't bothered to dig them out to show them what they're like. Um, I'm sure anyone who's familiar with the G1 line will know what the little decoys are, and basically they were little rubber representations of. Uh, actual characters and they were used to sort of uh, confuse the enemy in thinking that they were attacking somewhere else but it's basically just like a little rubber figure uh, you could get most of the G1 Transformers in that as well um, but yeah anyway I haven't dug them out so I might at some point on one of the reviews and you can get to see more what it's uh, all on about uh, as you can see, it's got quite nice G1 artwork, and again, the same price, because uh, I would have got these all at the same time. It was £2.25 when he was new. I uh, wish you could pick up G1 figures for that sort of money these days, but unfortunately not. Uh, as you can see, normal sort of backing, showing the, inst sort of the instructions of how to use the figure. And I should bring it in on, get that right so that you can pause that and read up his tech spec and of course you've got the bio which was all in the, uh, the old style we needed a decoder um, but anyway that's not really that important at this stage looking at the figure uh, as I say he's a construction vehicle now as they came out of the box he didn't have these sort of silvery colour bits on the windows I think I did that with a sort of silver marker pen when I was younger. So that's a little bit of my G1 vandalism. Or, well, just trying to get a bit more of a colour application on this figure. As he was pretty basic. Um, you're talking black plastic, orange plastic and blue plastic. Uh, all of the throttle bots have got their rub sign on top as well, which is worth noting. All of them, of course, have got rubber tyres as one of their other features. And I'll just do it. A little bit because they sort of pull back and go motor they still work pretty reliable actually they sort of like all kept their mechanism working pretty well over the years um, in pretty good condition generally anyway apart from the little extra paint apps I've put on and not a bad little vehicle anyway but the main gimmick of these particular range of the uh, figures was of course their pull back and go nature, a bit like the jump starters of the uh, G1 line. Um, obviously, because these were smaller scale, they didn't have the mechanisms to automatically transform, which would have been a nice little feature on these. But unfortunately, size and probably technology at the time, they couldn't do that on this, this scale. Anyway, to transform it is exactly the same as the gold bug. You flip up the top of the vehicle push the motor in to shorten what I suppose one well, feet as such. Bring these side panels out and so on little hinges and then unclip the top section and swing it over and that's the head reveal done. And that unfortunately is all of his transformation. Um, he does have a little bit of face detail, it's not picking it up too great in this light red on orange plastic doesn't work that great um, but yeah it's a pretty basic figure as you can see um, well it's not even kibble comes into it really the whole body of him is kibble really um, he's always been a little bit funny some of these robots are uh, sort of like just hanging back they should really stay upright like that but they almost develop a little bit of looseness and tend to hang back and that's quite normal on these. 
And that's about it really for White Light. Um, hope you've enjoyed that review, what there is of it. Uh, and I shall see you again for another Transformers review. Thanks for watching.